Tell me if this sounds familiar. You love buying new notebooks and journals, but most go incomplete with only a few pages written. In the spirit of National Notebook Day, which is celebrated the third Thursday in May, I put together a list of 10 tips to help you fill up those notebooks in less than five minutes a day. After the tips, stay tuned for an opportunity to win one of these fountain pen friendly notebooks from our friends at Itoya. So tip number one, perfection is the enemy. Forget every other plan with me or journal layout video that you've watched on YouTube. YouTubers in the planner scene make it look easy to create their meticulous journal pages. If you aim for perfect handwriting and straight lines in your journal, you may defeat yourself when it doesn't look perfect or become exhausted just how much time it takes for you to complete just one page. Think of your notebook less like a published novel and more like an analog version of a hard drive. Scribble those thoughts down to save them in long-term storage on paper so they no longer have to be running through your head. Don't worry about how sloppy your writing is, whether you're using proper spacing or even what page you're writing on. Just as long as you get it and have access to the information there, then great. So tip number two is write first drafts of everything. Essays, blog posts, letters, emails, proposals, speeches, and anything else that requires a transmission of words or ideas that can be jotted down on paper as a first draft. This goes along with tip number one in using the notebook as a rough scratch pad instead of a final draft. I always write the first draft outline of Goldspot YouTube videos in my notebook as you would see here for the video that we're watching now. Tip number three, make lists. Just because most people can write doesn't make them writers. In the same way that just being able to run doesn't make people runners. We're forced to make essays and book reports in school, but most people aren't fond of writing prose. Heck, there are even certain segments in our society that regressed back to communicating by pictorial hieroglyphs. Hashtag emoji, anybody? Making lists allows for most of us to still write without writing. Grammar, sentence structure, and punctuation don't matter when you write a list. You can keep a list of everything relevant in your life. Recipes, shopping, books, music, movies, beer, wine, pens, and inks, and so on. Tip number four, may the notebook be with you always. You can't write in a notebook that you don't have with you. Take it on your commute, take it out to lunch, Leave it on your desk as you work through the day's to-do list. Keep it in a visible location within your house so you can't ignore it. In order to make it a part of your daily life, it needs to physically be there. Tip number five, copying quotes and such. Now, just to be clear, I'm not promoting plagiarism. Many find inspiration and peace by copying the writing of others. Copy passages from your favorite books. Search online from quotes from your favorite authors. Write a funny joke you overheard at a party. The idea is to collect what strikes a personal chord when you look back at your journal. Tip number six, practice handwriting. Another easy way to fill up pages without actually having to come up with the words is to practice your penmanship. Use a guide sheet that can be downloaded online as a template for your practice. Fill up entire pages with a single letter in a matter of minutes. While you're working toward the objective of filling up your notebook, you'll also be improving your handwriting. Tip number seven, writing challenges. The online community is a supportive environment for challenges, especially ones that last about a month. If you're on Instagram, you can find ones like Rock Your Handwriting or 30 Inks 30 Days that are pertinent to pen and paper enthusiasts. National Novel Writing Month, also known as NaNoWriMo, or International Correspondence Writing Month, known as InkoWriMo, and Inktober are also ones that are enjoyed both online and offline. Tip eight, a sentence a day. Telling a story of your life doesn't need to be a long-winded affair. Even just a sentence or two a day can compound into a finished notebook by year's end. You can keep a multi-year memoir using Lloyd Terms some lines a day journal that can show you the same day during a five year span, if you keep up with it, of course. Tip nine, currently inked. What pen and ink are you using? 
For fountain pen enthusiasts with dozens of pens inked at the same time, this might be a bit of a head scratcher. For this purpose, you can keep a currently inked list of your pen and ink collection. I usually start mine in the back of the notebook and work my way toward the front. Tip number 10. Stickers, stamps, and washi tape. Instantly add colorful personality to your notebook without any drawing skills. Collect stickers from your favorite brands and plaster them on the pages of your notebook. Use stamps and an ink pad to help keep a consistent format in your planner pages. Add washi tape to decorate and create borders and dividers within your page layouts. So are you excited to get writing? Hopefully these tips will help you get the ink flowing. To provide more motivation, we invite you to enter our giveaway for these fountain pen friendly Etoya Profolio Oasis notebooks. We're giving away a notebook to six random people who like and comment on this video between now and May 31st, 2019 by 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The topic of your comment, well, what is your favorite notebook? Good luck to all who are entering the giveaway and thank you for watching the very end of this video. My last tip, close off YouTube, shut down the phone and get your notebook out to do some writing. Use one of these tips we discussed here and spend five minutes writing. Notice how you feel afterward and make it a point to do another five minutes tomorrow. Soon enough, you'll get that notebook filled. Stay inky, my friends. Take care.